I visited this place in the month of March. It's early morning. This is a narrow bridge over the water stream of the cave waterfall. The waterfall is right in the center of the caves. I couldn't see it because it's summer. And here you come to the caves. The road on the left hand side goes to the upper side of the caves. This is one of the very well preserved caves. One can easily see a huge statue of Gautam Buddha and various panels around on which the stories from Jataka are carved. The main statue is in Dhamma Chakra Mutra. It symbolizes turning of Dhamma wheel. There are several small panels around the main statue. The halo of the main statue suggests that these caves were painted once upon a time. There are plenty of beautiful panels around this statue. The narrow corridor around the main statue has magnificently carved images of Lord Buddha. There are marvelous basalt rock carvings in a narrow passage around the main statue. The outside panels have suffered a major damage. These beautiful caves have been overshadowed by the presence of other beautiful and magnificent architectures in Aurangabad and around Aurangabad, like Bibi Ka Makbara, the Fort of Devgiri, and famous UNESCO heritage caves Ajanta and Elora. And hence you will not see many visitors around you. This is another stupa in the next cave. The architecture above is an attempt to mimic the ancient wooden carvings of stupa. The bricks of stupa are definitely not modern. It is generally believed that these caves have been carved during 7th and 8th century AD. This is a view of Aurangabad town from the caves and this road will take us back to the university.